Daddy. Yes. It's very painful. It is. Oh, it is. God will protect me that I see alive. And I will pray to God that we will live long to the extent that we will be begging for death. Hey, Daddy, let's go and pray to the dead now. Oh, won't we go? The son of the dead. Yes, of course. I wish I could go, but my father told me that I shouldn't go fish his people for just things, so that's why. Ah, Daddy, that's not normal now. What if it comes to my tongue? What? <laughs> what do you mean if it comes to your tongue? I mean, if it comes to your tongue. Will you keep quiet? Are you mad? What type of plane is this? Wait, so yeah, are you, are you crazy, Daddy? If it comes to my tongue, oh, do you mean this? I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry, son. I said you should kneel down. I'm sorry. Now, what are you doing? Tell me. What do you mean by if it comes to my tongue or your tongue? Whatever. What I mean by that is, you know, one day, one day, someone's father will perish. What? And in that situation, a son we need someone to, to console him. Okay. Continue. But I'm listening. I'm listening. If the father stops stop visiting the son of the dead, or let me say stop visiting the son and daughter of the dead, who will who, who will come to, to console the son who, when when he died? Jesus and is Lord. In that situation, mm -hmm. that that might be a problem. Like who is starting? How do you know that, or what makes you sure that the father will go before the son? I, I don't know. What's, it is small you know, I think that is the normal way that's supposed to happen. Father before son, not son before father. Okay, that that's the normal way that's supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Jesus is Lord.